Hello and welcome to the Ronroco BST tutorial. We will make a walk through the interface with all its functions. Now, let's see. On the left side, we can find the main menu. On the middle section of the interface, we can see the different options of each function. For example, in notes, you will find five articulations of individual notes, which you can select with the mouse or via Kisuchi. In the lower section, we can find a set of controls. For example, on the left, we have RAW. RAW is the original dry signal. In RAW, you, have, you can select many things. The level of the signal, the pan of the signal, and the river with the impulse response you want to select. Right there, you can select the river drive amount and the river wet amount. If you see here above level, you have the EQ bottom of the river, which is very handy, where you can EQ the river with a low pass, high pass, and input response size control. On the right side, we have the echo chamber. This is a very special function we are proud of. This is not a reverb, it's not a algorithm. This is a real echo chamber we have built in the studio. So, a pair of stereo microphones with a speaker the signal going through the speaker was recorded with these microphones like they used to do and they still do on every road and the big studios like Capitol also. Like the Beatles used to record their, their albums. Elvis Presley used a lot, uh, Frank Sinatra also. In the echo chamber you can control the same uh, parameters of the raw section. The level, pan, and the reverb, selecting the input responses, and controlling the reverb with also the EQ. Let's hear uh, a little bit how this sounds with the echo chamber and without the echo chamber in notes. This is with the impulse response. Let's take out the impulse response of both, of the raw also. And now we put a little bit of uh, echo chamber and we, we can hear. Staccato. Let's put a, a lot more echo chamber to that and we can play a little bit softer. All right, as you can hear, this is a very organic and musical sound. Let's hear a little bit of the tremolo sound. Let's play with the other articulations. Sustain. We're gonna load down the echo chamber a little bit.
Okay, now we are in arpeggios. For example, we were in notes, and you can see the volume of the memory. And when we go to arpeggios, the memory flash and change the number. For example, in chords, we have like half of the memory get flash, get purged every time so you will not have a problem with the memory you will see this is very small amount okay let's go to our pages this section is like the core of the instrument um, here you you have a, a great tool to compose uh, infinite uh, sequences infinite songs because we have progressions many of them as you can see, where you can choose via mouse or via uh, key switch. On the right side, you will see a number. That's the number where the sample was recorded. For example, uh, let's go to Kila Kina 125. It was recorded on 125 beats per minute. Okay, also you can switch and play random notes. So you can you can switch uh, between every note, and every note is a different uh, arpeggio, and also you can switch between every menu. For example, let's switch between Kila Kina and Rio Bravo. Okay, as you can hear, the possibilities are endless. Also, when you press each note, you have the original tail of the K of the instrument. So pressing the foot switch, the pedal, you can control the spacing between uh, every chord. So you can play it very naturally with uh, Rallentando, uh, for example, with Rubato, because the uh, Ron Rocco is a very human instrument uh, you don't play by click actually Sandolaja uh, doesn't play by click uh, you have to play by heart so this is the way we intended to uh, design this interface to be uh, very faithful to the instrument itself if you want you can you can go to the grid and and be in sync but I don't recommend it myself for composing uh, emotional and inspiring, touching melodies. So, uh, okay. We can also uh, change the tempo of the session. Now that, uh, as you can see, the session is locked in 125 beats per minute, but uh, these samples are very well recorded, so you can 
you have a large margin of playing with the tempo. For example, we can go 30 beats per minute up and see what happens. Okay, we are now in 155 and that's a lot. Let's go 30, be 30 beats per minute lower than the, it was recorded. So we are in 95. As you can see, it still sounds very musical and also you can uh, you get an another quality uh, when you low the tempo it sounds more like bell like sounding and the harmonic sounds uh, uh, more prominent so you can either go farther than 30 beats per minute we can go 40 and 50 so there is no issue in the in the tempo you want to select for example in Lanin, it says on the right, no tempo. This was recorded in a specific tempo, so if you change the, the beats per minute of your Do, it will not affect because it was intended to be played in this tempo. Let's hear a little bit of that. Okay, cool. Then here you can you can play with a uh, river. Let's put a little bit of river in the in the row. A concert hall. This less river wet. Um, and put a little bit of, of river of echo chamber with no river here. Uh, more more echo chamber. And let's play again that section. <laughs> Now let's put an uh, impulse response in the echo chamber by itself, if we want to create a big sound. Okay, you can shape the sound and the camera on the position of the instrument uh, the way you like it you have a lot of freedom and uh, with our arpe arpeggio menus uh, you can do whatever you want and we are very proud of this section because this is a creative tool for the musician this is not just a bst with the notes and uh, and the main uh, elements of the instrument this is actually a creative workstation Okay, now let's move another menu. This is chords. As you can see, we have on the left side all the major chords, which are on the keyboard, the almost pinky color. And on the right side, you have the minor chords, which play, you can, you can change it by uh, key switch or by hand, in orange, you have the minor chords. For example, let's, let's choose a E major chord, and because E major has F sharp, D sharp, C sharp, and D sharp, you will see that the chord of the third chord is a G sharp minor. The seventh chord will be a D sharp diminish. Okay, and if you move the mod wheel upwards, you can play the chords faster. And this happens in every key, major and minor. 
Also the echo chamber works the same, the pan, the, the reverbs, everything works the same as notes and arpeggios. Now we are in a soundscape. Here we have uh, many things to talk about. On the upper side, you can see a menu called tail. Above that, we have minor chords to choose, major chords, sorry, minor chords and dominant. You can choose this by mouse or either by key switch, as you can see. This affects the tail and affects the row and echo chamber also. Let's play, uh, these are an uh, uh, interesting effect. These are very, uh, um, like many um, arpeggios, playing the ronroco many times and using reverbs and, for example, echo delays to create a soundscape that is very useful to create nice atmospheres if you are working in a, a project, uh, a movie, uh, a short, uh, an animation, a game, uh, any anything related with visual or either, if you're working in a song, this is this work like a nice bed, uh, and it's not synthesized at all because all these sounds were created for, from the Ron Rocco. Some sounds, like the tail, are the actual tail prolonged with reverbs, but there's no synthesis or electronic involved in this process. Let's play the raw note and see how it sounds. You can hear the decay, sounds very natural. So here you can create a, like a big uh, pad, for example. If you put more echo chamber, saturate it a little bit more, a little bit. Uh, okay, mm, yeah, let's put in the raw uh, section Impulse response, a big one. Cathedral will be okay. Low down a little bit of wet. And let's try uh, E minor chord, how it sounds. If you keep the key pressed, it's an infinite loop that you have. So, as you can see, you can create a very nice lands landscape. In the same menu, uh, on the green keys, you have the tail. Let's play the E minor tail. Now, if you move the mod wheel upwards, You can adjust an octave down the level of the same note. So now you can press the E of the row and the E of the tail at the same time. Let's do it. Now we can play with the soundscape uh, sound stage. For example, we can move the panning of, of the raw. We can keep, let's do it more radically, the echo chamber around here, and the tail was already here. We can move to this place. Also, you can, you can put also a reverb in the, in the tail to make it even bigger. And also, 
Let's try a cathedral here. And we can play now the E in octaves playing the raw and the tail trigger at the same time. As you can see, you can do whatever you want in major chords, minor chords and dominant chords. This is a very special function that will help you a lot to create a nice bed on your tracks. Okay, now we are in Southern Winds. Here you can find the real natural tremolos of the instruments in the idiomatic chords. These are the most used tremolos of the Ron Rocco. Let's play um, some chords. If you move the joystick, you, you, you can control the volume. We have also dominant chords. Now here I want to explain something. For example, if you press the mouse anywhere the interface, you have everything explained. You see down here an explanation of every function that will help you to control the interface very fast. If you put the mouse on each key, you will see which chord you are playing. For example, this is, this is a C with an add 9. This is a D with an add 4. This is an E minor playing F major, G major, B minor 7, D7, and so on. Here, you also can control the EQ of the echo chamber and you, you have the legend down below in every control of it. Let's play, uh, uh, we can put uh, maybe more echo chamber. Let's play with the input response. Let's put, put it bigger here, maybe a cathedral, small. And let's play a G minor chord to see how it sounds. Let's play with the pan, the same note. You can create using many instances of Ron Rocco a huge, huge bed that you will hear in the other tutorials on the uh, web clips that you will find on the page. Okay, now from Southern Winds, let's go to the next menu that is called Run Tour. As you can see, this is the actual Run Rocco we use. This is a, a wand of a triangle, a stick of a triangle. And the strings were struck like a sun tour, like the ronroco is played uh, in the same fashion as a sun tour, thus hence the name of the ron tour. This is a very original sound. I never heard the, the ronroco play this in this way. You, you have a key switch here where you go, you can play the sound reverse and in natural. You have also the echo chamber and all the functions that you heard below. Let's play some melody.
Okay. The reverse is like, for example, if you put that, a big reverb, you can do many things. This function, uh, actually for creating special effects, is very good and you will see, you will hear them in one of the demos I made to picture. Let's go now to effects. We were on tour, now we go to effects. Here we use the instrument in very uh, uh, unorthodox uh, way of using it. For example, we have colors, different colors on the keys. Each color is a different effect we played on the Ron Rocco. In the green keyboards, we use a violin arc uh, over the strings of the Ron Rocco. Let's hear it. These are very long samples, very long. Uh, very contemporary also. In the blue, we have like a trimono. In the orange, let's see what we have. These are like short strokes with the bow. Okay, now let's go to the yellow keys. This keys you will find the Rombroco play as a percussion instrument. It was hit on the back of the instrument. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, now we have the pink. Let's see what effect is going on there. This is a special technique that they use with the strings and it makes another uh, effect that it will be very effective for some uh, some cues you have to do. Let's put more reverb and play those pink notes. You can do whatever you want here and create nice contemporary effects. Okay, this is all. And you can play and search for your own sound with the Ron Rocco BST for contact. Thank you and be creative.